What up everyone, welcome to another UFT tutorial brought to you by www.qtptutorial.net where our goal is to teach you everything from A to Z related to UFT automation so that you guys can be the best automation engineers on the planet. Today I am very stoked to have everybody here because we're going to do something fun and very awesome. I and my partners are in development of our website website www.qtptutorial.net and as we are developing our site we are getting more and more new functionality and therefore it needs to be tested yes guys we are literally going through the testing process through the software development lifecycle process as i am teaching you guys and so this is perfect because i have a live application on the web that needs to be automated so that i know that when we make a new feature when we add something to the website that it's not breaking something else and this is where our automation comes in we're going to create some smoke tests we're going to create some regression tests, maybe a few functional tests, and along the way, we will learn the keyword-driven framework. Now, let me tell you guys, this class is going to be pretty advanced. I'm going to move fast through everything. I won't describe a lot because my goal is to automate my site and at the same time teach you guys. So a lot of you, the beginners, the intermediate people may not understand everything that's going on, but this video will still be phenomenal for you to watch because you will get to see a live automation happening right before your eyes. Probably something that's not many people have gotten to experience before. I mean, really, how many of you can say that you got to learn automation during a live project that was being done very few unless you got to be lucky on a team where you got to learn automation you know while the project was happening but a lot of times you do have to learn on your own on the side in order to make it happen because no one is going to let you automate if you don't know how to automate right not any, no one but it's very rare anyways so that's why i'm so excited because we're going to be doing a live project where our site keeps getting improvements and i'm going to be adding to our suite of tests so that i can keep on testing it and I don't have to worry about our site being broken whenever we make improvements. 